All right, guys, last couple videos on the channel have all been about age of sale stuff. Uh, and this is all due to a small eBay purchase I made that had one British ship, one American ship. And now, <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I've been pulled down another rabbit hole and I am now fully committed to um, age of sale for the channel. So, I mean, before, I've done a, what, a read through review of the Black Seas rule book, as well as an unboxing of the Briggs and Frigates box from, uh, from Warlord Games. Um, however, I'm not going to continue on with Black Seas, at least for the foreseeable future, um, because I'm going to fully commit to uh, fighting sale here from Osprey, um, you know, as an alternative uh, to Wargaming. I cover a lot of Warlord game stuff on my channel, but I wanted to try to start covering um, games that might be outside of what we would normally see from Warlord. Um, again, this is an Osprey game book, and I'm gonna be using miniatures from uh, GHQ and possibly Langton uh, for uh, for this type of game. So um, at some point, I'm gonna do a read-through review of Fighting Sail, um, but in the meantime, there is a reason why I brought the Black Seas rulebook out. I'm actually using it uh, for some of the uh, painting stuff here. So, um, th in fact, this is such a great book. It has a lot of wonderful information. And if you're not familiar with Age of Sail, especially during the Napoleonic period, uh, it has a lot of great information uh, and historical stuff to, to get you into that, um, into that period of time. Uh, for naval combat. Now, um, the wonderful thing about this book is, again, it's, it's chock full of information, but there is a wonderful painting guide that is available here that kind of just gives you a quick overview of what um, certain nations' ships would normally be painted as. Example of this being black hull, black and yellow hull for the Royal Navy, um, yellow and blue hull for the French, then you got uh, the red and black hull for the Spanish, and then the black and white with red trim for the United States. So I'm just using this as a painting guide. But again, um, that's not to say that Black Seas is a bad game. I'm just not moving in that direction. But the rule book does have a lot of information um, that would be helpful if you're planning to play Age of Sail type war game. So I just completed most of my work on the USS Constitution. And here it is. Let me see if I can zoom in just a little bit. Um, so yeah, I mean, the only thing that has been done is really the rigging route lines, any of that stuff. And I'm not really sure if I'm even gonna do that because again, I will be playing heavily with this. And while it does make the ship um, look more full, fully featured, um, it's not really necessary. So it really is up to you whether or not you're gonna do the, do the rigging. That was one main hindrance that I had with uh, the Black Seas models. Uh, I got fumbly, clumsy hands, so rigging is very difficult. Um, but I do like the look of a ship that's fully rigged. Uh, so I haven't decided yet. Although rigging for this scale is a lot easier than the rigging for Black Seas. You can use thread for the Black Seas models. You can actually use uh, brush bristles that are either painted black or are black, and then you would just run them as you would normal, normally for a rigging on a, on a ship. So, haven't decided yet. I might just do it, um, but we'll see. Uh, I do like how my base came out. This is a MDF uh, 80 by 40 base. And I, I, you know, it looks pretty good. I can move it around the table, move it around the table just fine. Um, and again, um, a lot of tutorials are out there on what to use. I actually used, um, and let me get that out of the way real quick. And we will zoom back out. I use this, just uh, some normal drywall spackling. So the neat thing about this particular spackling from Home Depot is that it starts off pink and as it dries, it turns white. So it'll tell you when it's fully cured. Um, so you don't have to wait. But in any case, I got my first ship mostly done here. I am, um, you know, based on that purchase making an American and a British fleet. And I kind of want to show off um, stuff that I'm adding to that. I, I am working on the L Diana or the HMS Diana. I couldn't find any historical reference to a ship specifically called the L Diana. 
So I'm under the assumption that it is the HMS Diana. I matched um, the number of guns, it being a 38 frigate, 38 gun frigate, and then that's the only one that I could find with a similar name. But in any case, uh, once I have that done, I'll have a um, my first British ship done. But I did end up getting a few things here. So <laughs> Noble Knight Games, you can uh, find them on eBay. You can go to their main store on the web. Or, in fact, you can find them on Amazon. And the wonderful thing about Noble Knight Games is that they ship super fast. I actually ordered these on Wednesday. It's now Saturday. I believe you guys will see this on Tuesday. Um, but I got it in quick order. And I kind of just want to go through what I have here. Again, these are both American and British ships because I'm building those fleets. Eventually, I want to, you know, build up other fleets from different nations. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So uh, like, I'm going to pause this and then we're going to go through each of the ships that I have here. I'm not going to do an unbagging or unboxing. They'll come in its own videos. Um, but I want to show off uh, what my plans are. So. All right, guys, first off to uh, build out my U.S. fleet, I have the USS Constellation. This is a 38 gun frigate, one of the first six uh, ships commissioned by the U.S. Navy. The other uh, so far in my position being the Constitution, uh, the Chesapeake and a couple others. Uh, and I can go through that history later on. So I do have another frigate. Um, this actually was famous for fighting the French um, at some point. And really, I'm going to put a card up that tells you um, who it fought, what it's most famous for. Um, I just can't off the top of my head <laughs> remember. Um, and then the next thing here is a Baltimore Privateer. So um, also known as a Baltimore Cutter. Uh, I figured I'd get a smaller ship in there uh, with my two frigates. Um, and th at that point, I would have a three uh, ship fleet for the American Navy. All right, next up I have the HMS Shannon, a 38 gun frigate for the British Navy. So the Shannon itself is actually famous for uh, defeating and capturing the USS Chesapeake, uh, one of the first six uh, naval vessels for the US Navy. And then finally we have the La Fauvette, 20 gun Corvette. So when I purchased this, I thought it was just a standard, bog standard Corvette. So I wanted to get a smaller ship that could kind of be in line with the um, with the cutter that I bought for the U.S. Navy. Um, I have I don't know too much about the La Fauvette here. Um, I'm assuming by its name that it is a French Corvette, but I'm going to be treating this as just a British Corvette. Uh, and eventually, when I build out a French Navy, I'll move this over and get a more appropriate um, smaller ship or smaller vessel for the uh, British Navy. But that's what I got. So we got the HMS Shannon, another frigate. We have the La Fauvette, a 20 gun Corvette for the British. That uh, with that will be um, included with the L Diana or the HMS Diana. And that'll be my British fleet. And again, just to finish off, we have the USS Constellation and then a Baltimore Privateer or Cutter, which will round out my initial US fleet. Again, I just wanted to show off the, um, the Constitution here. I just love the way the base turned out. So anyway, lots of things coming out of the channel for Age of Sail again. We will be doing, or I will be doing, uh, let me zoom this out. Fighting sail as the main uh, rules for uh, naval wargaming. Uh, eventually, I might circle back to Black Seas and try my hand at the uh, rigging again. But you know, with the um, GHQ miniatures being one twelve hundredth scale, um, you can get away with um, painting them a certain way. And, um, you know, rigging or not rigging the ships, they'll still look good on the uh, board. So anyway. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm very excited to be doing Age of Sail and, and more specifically Fighting Sail and getting all my fleets ready for some gameplay. If you like this video, go ahead and click like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I appreciate it if you would. 
click the bell notification icon to get notified of all new uh, Age of Sail content coming on the channel and then click the link in the description below to join our Discord server. That is the best way I can personally interact with you and chit chat you about Fighting Sail, GHQ Miniatures, and any other game or miniature line that we cover on the channel. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more hobby vlog from Wargaming Noob Historical.